It's a beautiful Monday. For the first time in a little while, I'm not starting in my garage. So I'm over here at my boy's shop, R2 Performance, here in Las Vegas. I'm gonna get some cool stuff filmed, ask his opinion on some things, and kind of show off what he's got going on over here. So if you don't know, he does have a dyno jet. This is where I got my bike tuned after I did my cams. We got this thing dialed in. The map that I got from Fuel Moto was not very good. Um, it was running really lean and, and the cylinder temperatures were really, really high. So I definitely recommend doing a dyno tune after you do cam work or anything like that. You mean we can't reuse this stuff? No. Oh. I mean, once in a while. Okay. You sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right. Just put it through like an air filter. Yeah. It out real quick. Oh yeah, that's fine. Air cold motors love dirty oil. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Get way more horsepower. Oh, ah, okay. So this is where you get the plus five horsepower. Shh. Tell secrets. <laughs> so doing tires. Yeah, front wheel. 18 on a soft tail slim. That's nice. Fresh Metzler. You guys know I like my Metzlers. I talked about them a couple days ago. Uh, that's the tire that I like to run. Ran two sets of Michelins, went to the Metzlers, no regrets. I really like the ultra marathons, but the cruise techs are good too from what I've heard. That's it. All done. <laughs> it's one of those, those little wheel weights. Little balance feet so you don't have that ugly wheel weight outside the rim. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna put a set of these on my low rider. Yeah. In your opinion, what do you think is the best air pressure for a front tire? Well, it just depends on the tire, I guess, too, but bagger is different than Dyna. All those are, you know, you got the different variations. I'd say Dyna, usually around 36. My bagger, I like to run at like 38. So oh, it just depends. Just what you're doing too. I mean, trying to get that thing to pop up, you're gonna want a little lower tire pressure. Right. What we got going on over here? Putting a gas tank back on. And you said you powder coated all of this. It was all chrome before this? All chrome. Oof. So today's Monday, but here pretty soon, we're gonna be taking some video of some cam work and some cool stuff on a Dyna, some tear down, some reassembly, and uh, maybe we'll even get the, uh, some footage of the Dyno and uh, kind of see what numbers it puts out. Once that bike goes under the knife, we'll get some video of it. Man, look at how tight this engine oil cap is with this exhaust on here on this twin cam. Like, look at that, how? That's impossible. Oh. So I've heard a saying, working on motorcycles will teach you every swear word in the book and patience. Would you agree with that or no? Yeah, I'm 100% agreeing. <laughs> So as far as my bike goes, got to get it in here pretty soon, get some fresh tires on it. Uh, my front is definitely worn down. 
starting to hit the wear bars in there. The back, believe it or not, there's a little bit of life left in it, but not much. I went and did a roller the other day in front of Pikey Coffee, and I had my tire kind of wash out to one side. So that was fun, keeps it interesting, but uh, new tires soon. So Rich just pulled in this nice road glide. Sounds really good with this thunder header on there. Going on the dyno. Always trips me out just how long the thunder headers are. That good torque though. Oh yeah. What are you doing, bud? Oh, you know, just filling holes. <laughs> it's a race bike. So it's it makes, race it, bike. makes it lighter. Oh, okay. It's weight reduction. Yeah. 100%. Oh, 8 out. Right there. Oh, 8 out. Right there. <laughs> hey, on these bikes, you gotta take what you can get. Yeah. <laughs> so probably get some questions about what was going on here with the uh, with the drill and the pipe and everything. So the proper way to dyno your bike is to have your sniffers in the pipe about six inches from the cylinder outlet. So now that's according to Dyno Jet. They're the ones who recommend that. So a lot of tuners, what they do is they just put the sniffer in the end of the pipe, and it can't. It, the sniffer isn't good enough to determine. The differences between the cylinder heads so the proper way to do it is you do it six inches from each cylinder head and that's how you get a really accurate dyno tune something that's going to work really well for your bike so if you see it tuned like that you know you're going to get a good map if you just run the sniffer in the end of the pipe it's not going to be so accurate it could be better isn't that right rich so back at the house my camera died my battery died in my GoPro while I was at Rich's. And of course the spare battery that I had was also dead. So that sucks. Uh, ran home, plugged it in for a little bit. And uh, so now we're here. So a little bit of bad news. Rich had a Dyna that was gonna come in to R2 Performance. He was gonna do cam swap on it and a Dyna tune. We were gonna film that and we were gonna film the Dyna results and see kind of what numbers it puts out and kind of film the process. The bad news is the bike was wrecked and the rider's okay, the bike is not. Uh, literally a day before it was supposed to go under the knife, ends up wrecking. So that's the bad news. So we might get some footage of the repair process because insurance is involved and they're gonna fix the bike. So we might film some of that. Um, sucks that we're gonna not see the cam install and be able to film that. But the good news is the rider's okay. Um, so that's kind of where we're gonna leave this one. Thanks for watching everything. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the like button. I'll catch you on the next one.